Hi, cat. <laughs> this so, is totally spontaneous in every way. <laughs> so tell them how you got that one little special scar. <sighs> All right, as I mentioned in the book, there are certain movements that are just my thing. For example, someone cuts and I countercut false edge across the stomach five while retreating. That's my go-to move. I've done it a gazillion times. I love back cuts to the stomach. My mentor and instructor like to do false edge cuts like this. If you'll cut one, over and over and over and over again. Now, can you come in slightly lower and still be a little bit more vertical? So what would that feel like if it was hitting here? So what if this is the early days and we're doing this with sticks and I'm getting that whacked over and over again? Yay. Because Chaba's a little bit shorter than I am. I'm a little bit taller and Chaba tends to crouch, which makes it even worse. So I'm here and then you cut, tack, only he would go a little bit further back because not worrying about camera, and he would smack this part of my thumb over and over and over and over again. Yeah. And now I have a little tiny scar on the side of my thumb. It doesn't hurt anything. He's not a villain. <laughs> but it's kind of awesome in that how precisely he hit me with this cut a gazillion frickin' times. It's awesome. So what makes this really horrifying is this is an I win button. If she's attacking me, attack me slowly any way you want. Her hand is going to be coming towards her center line because that's how you end a cut. Get into a western stance if you want. She does the same thing. Ha ha, and she goes for my head or something. Her hand's still gonna be coming to that center line, right? So as long as I can read her distance, ta da ta da ta da 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 here she cuts for my head, and I whack her in the thumb. Except you changed her grip, so I, I whacked her in the finger instead. So that's how I got that scar. And that is our absolute favorite counter cut because my mentor put it on me a gazillion times until I learned to manage distance and not get suckered like that. And if your students who you teach this to are cutting without paying attention to their alignment, you can do that. Or you can hit their thumbs a gazillion frickin' times. Cut once out of alignment. Watch how much easier this suddenly gets for me. Yeah, big difference, right? All of a sudden, I just have to go boop, and he did it that easily. Now, combine that with the fact that fingers three and four form a natural fulcrum. And we'll do this the way Chaba actually did it to me. Fair warning, this may suck. <laughs> only on my thumb. <laughs> so that has been your story hour for this morning. Are you glad you asked? Yes, thank you. You can hit me later. Okay. All right, have fun. We've got more videos and content coming, so if you liked what you saw and it was useful for you, please stab the like button, slash subscribe, and punch the little bell icon so that you're notified immediately when new content comes available. Thanks, and go do the thing. Recording, recording. Are we live? Yes, we are. All right, there, right there, that little white scar. Look close, I'm very pale. Little bitty white scar. I'm getting hit over and over and over again. All right.